Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel GKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about microcontroller reset. So what is reset? Reset refers to the process of returning the microcontroller to a known default state. This is similar to rebooting a computer. It clears most internal states and restart program execution from the beginning, typically the reset vector and ensures the system starts cleanly. So what is the purpose of reset in microcontroller? So it will initialize the hardware to default state and start code execution from the beginning and recover from fault or error like brownout reset or watchdog timeout. So that is what we are going to see more deeply in this video. So now we can start with what are the types of reset we have it in microcontroller. First one is power on reset, external reset meaning it's called as a manual reset, watchdog timer reset, brownout reset, software reset, it's called as a programmatic reset and low power wake up reset, core or CPU reset and final one is JTAG or debugger initiated reset. First we can start from power on reset. So power on reset occurs when the power is first applied to the microcontroller. So when the power first is applied, the microcontroller supply voltage gradually rises. So the power on reset circuit monitors this voltage and trigger a reset sequence when the voltage reaches a specific threshold. That's called as a power on reset. So what is the purpose of power on reset? This will ensure the microcontroller states from a known state after power up. So what is the general reset sequence when the power on reset occurs? First, it will clearing internal registers to their default values and it will setting the program counter to the address of the reset vector which is the starting point of the program and it initiating the microcontroller internal clock and other necessary hardware components. So this is a general reset sequence of power on reset and this is basically based hardware based and meaning it's usually built into the chip. The next one is external reset. This is also called as manual reset. It is initiated by pulling the reset pin low externally. For an example, it can be done via push button or circuit or getting the signal from another sensor. It can be done by any cases. So the external reset in the microcontroller is reset the signal initiated by the source outside the microcontroller itself. So what is the purpose of this external reset? allows a user or system to reset the microcontroller manually. So how exactly this is working? One is reset pin. So many microcontroller is coming up with a dedicated reset pin. Might you have seen RESET or MCLRE, these all are the pins. So when driven to low or high, based on that it trigger a reset. And second one is external circuitry. For an example, we have a switch or button that's connected to the reset pin. So when we are doing connect, when we are connecting the external reset pin via resistor, when you are doing a pull up or pull down, that will generate the reset signal. That's also one of the possibility to trigger the external reset. And third one is a manual reset that particularly allow users to manually restart the microcontroller, such as when the program is struck or malfunctioning. These all are the possible ways we can do the external reset and we have other triggers also. For an example, one microcontroller can send the signal to reset the another one or a sensor or external event can trigger a reset. So many possibilities are there to trigger an external reset and this also called as manual reset. Next one is the most important reset in microcontroller. As an engineer or as an embedded developer, we might feel it in many times about or heard about it watchdog timer reset. What it is? A watchdog timer in a microcontroller is a safety mechanism that resets the device if it detects that the program has stopped or is malfunctioning. It works by periodically requiring a signal from the microcontroller and if the signal is not received within the set time, the time triggers a reset. That's called as a watchdog timer reset. So what is the purpose of watchdog reset? It will recover the system from software hangs or infinite loops. 
So it detects software hangs or infinite loop and forces a restart to recover safely. So how exactly this watchdog timer reset works? One is based on counter. The watchdog timer is essentially a counter that counts down from the predetermined value. And another one is periodic signal. So the microcontroller software needs to periodically kick or reset the watchdog timer sending a signal to it. And another one is timeout. If the microcontroller doesn't send the signal within the specified time, the timer reaches zero and trigger a reset. That's essentially restarting the microcontroller. So especially what is the purpose of watchdog timer reset? That's one for software error and one other one is for hardware failure and mainly for reliability. Another one is brownout reset. This is also might be as an engineer, you might hear it many times. Brownout reset occurred, might be informed by your colleague what it is brownout reset. So brownout reset in a microcontroller occurs when the power supply voltage drops below a minimum operating level. That triggers to a reset to preventing the damage. That's exactly called as a brownout reset. So what is the purpose of brownout reset? It will pre prevent erratic operation during voltage dips. So we know that what is the threshold voltage level from there if it is getting reduced then brownout reset occurs so it will prevent unpredictable behavior due to low or unstable power supply voltage so mainly this can cause from power supply issue reset mechanism so these all are the important reasons mainly for a reason for brownout reset especially brownout occurs when the microcontroller power supply voltage dips below the minimum voltage required for your reliable operation. Software reset that's also called as programmatic reset. Software reset occurs when a specific command or sequence of commands within the software intentionally triggers a reset. This is typically used when a critical error is detected or when the software needs to reinitialize the system without any external trigger. The main purpose is reinitializing the system under control and it is used to restart the system programmatically example after the firmware update or fault detection. So the software resets are useful for rebooting the system when new configurations are applied. That's the specific, specific use case for software reset. Next one is low power wake up reset. Low power wake up reset in microcontrollers allow devices to enter low power modes like sleep or standby or hibernate and then resume normal operation upon specific events. And the specific events can include external signals, timer alarms or other events. So especially the purpose here is ensure proper startup from low power modes. So what is low power modes? So microcontroller has sleep, standby, stop, to minimize the power consumption when not actively performing a task. So what are the wake up sources we have? External signals you can consider. It's a rising edge on a dedicated wake up pin. An interrupt from a peripheral like UART or ADC or button press. And next one is timers or RTC. So when a timeout from a timer or an alarm even from a real time clock. And internal events is one of the wake up sources. Like certain events within microcontroller internal logic can also trigger a wake up. Core or CPU reset. The core or CPU reset refers to the process of restoring the microcontroller's internal state and peripherals to a known initial state, effectively restarting the processor. This is very crucial for starting program execution or recovering from units. That is used in some systems for faster recovery without full system reset. JTAG or debugger initiated reset. So you know that we are using a JTAG and also you will use the debugger via flashing and everything. So triggered by a debugger or your programming tool via the debug interface. That's called as JTAG or debugger initiated reset. The purpose it's used during development and debugging. So these all are the general reset cases we have it in microcontroller, but each microcontroller may implement these differently. Not all types may be available on every MCU. Okay, so I hope you got a clear idea about microcontroller types of reset. So if you like it, 
प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो टू युअर फ्रेंड्स एंड ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल थैंक यू सो मच हैव अ नाइस डे